I truly believe with every ounce of my body that this place is special and that when you have a group of young men and a coaching staff and an administration and a university and a community who are all pulling in the same direction, who all want the same thing, that that is when special, unforgettable memories are created. And that's what I hope and I know will happen here. Oh, it's awesome. You know, it's a, it's been an unbelievable last 24 hours, and uh, I'm excited to be back. You know, I'm excited to be back home and to be able to represent this university. You know, where I played for four years is is truly special to me. It, it's been exciting. You know, to be able to sit down and meet with Coach Kill and talk to him about my vision for the program and my excitement and why I think I could be, you know, the right guy to lead SIU basketball, and then kind of go through that waiting period as he goes through his interviews and everyone goes through the process and just kind of not knowing what's going to happen um, and then to be able to get a call from Coach Kill and like I said the last 24 hours it's just it's been over the top. I feel like the hard work you know has paid off and that you know I can't wait you know to hear Brian Mullins a successful head coach. <laughs> You know, like I said before, I think it's it's the people and the relationships and the memories I have from here. Not even so much the, the wins and losses, but you know, the times I've spent with so many people that are still here and the people that have watched me and followed me throughout my professional career in France and over at Loyola and that are excited for me right now. Um, you know, it's it's always been special to me, and you know, it's just an amazing opportunity, you know, to be able to come back and lead this program.